Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Yeah. Howdy, 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 howdy. Hey, everybody. Paul Murray, Family for the Gaming, playing another, uh, doing another Twitch live stream for Ease 9 Monster Knox. So I'm playing that game, playing on the PS4. We are giving a digital download code for review. I've been playing through it. I know I have so many RPGs I'm playing through, so uh, I'll be stopping after episode 6 to work on some other stuff, and then we'll come back to this game at some future date when I can try to wrap this one up. Let's see if chat is a going. Go, 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 go. Looks like chat might be working. No need to rush. All right, <clears throat> up we go. Another boss battle. Glad I saved. What are you? It's got eyes. Oh, I did a flash. Ow. Come on, I'm trying to stay still long enough to... Okay, let's get some items going. Skill that can heal. Oh, interesting. Just 
far enough away. Please give me just enough time to start healing. No. Heal, 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 heal. Nope. <laughs> it, it never lets me heal today. Is she dead now? She's more arms now. That's not good. Ow! I feel like it was going to happen the way the battle was going. Uh, <coughs> it's like nothing I was doing was working. And like I was just getting tagged all the time. It's like I can't ever seem to find a point where I could hit him. Right there. I mean, you get in there.
Uh, you can turn it off. I'll turn it on a little bit. Got him. <clears throat> Second try is a charm. <clears throat> Let's make that show up. This ain't even the Grimwald. This is kind of stuff you've been looking into, Your Royal Majesty. That and how to break the curse. Hmm, that's so. And you almost, you almost had me for a moment there. So, um, where exactly in the prison do you think this connects to? Guess we'll just have to find out when we get there, huh? Just make sure we don't put yourself on the way, this cat. I won't, I just have a bad feeling that is all. But this is all. <coughs> Excuse me, I see they're auto-saving, but... I was going the right way because I couldn't really tell it's when you fight inside a circle. Yeah. That's about a hierograph of knights, isn't it? Makes this place, um... Hagrid Knights HQ. Haha. <laughs> Not a bad little surprise. HQ? Did you know about this? Who can say? It's not like I was trying to trick you. I got something I'm after in here too, that's all. Either way we're here, whether you like it or not. Let's say we take a stroll around. I don't think we really have the time for any casual strolls. Still we should try to keep our heads down so we don't get caught. Monstrums. How many blazes you get in here? Like, I, like I've got an answer to grunts like you. You're kidding. 
it's the feral hawk. And the Crimson King, the white cat, the boot. The hawk is saying, perfect, this is our chance to avenge our fellow brethren. You okay, girl? Yeah? Who need to jump? Maybe not. This Lustal Master grants us victory. Pam Pam, I'm starting to feel like we're the, the bad guys here somehow. Well, all of a sudden they've been treating us that way since the start. Well, it's mostly because of you, you know. It's locked. Do you hear that? Someone's crying. Huh, who goes there? It's the Monstrums! What do we need in here? We need something in this room, I think. They really, really, really weren't expecting us to show up in, in their own headquarters, huh? How did you find out about the secret passage anyway, Hawk? Meh, I have my ways. Ain't here either, huh? Sif Sabo, oh, what am I going to do without it? I'm so scared. If only the professor were here to save me. Okay, I knew I heard someone wailing their head off. Guess it must have been this chick. An inmate. She doesn't seem like a nasty criminal to me, but... Eep, who goes there? You don't sound like the guards I remember. Are you okay? What are you in here for? And he says, were you okay? I couldn't even tell you if I wanted to. I was minding my own business when suddenly they took me in for sketchery. Even worse, they confiscated something for me that's more precious than my own life. I stuffed it into the burlap sack and carried it away like it was nothing. Without it, I just, I just, what am I going to do? I'm not supposed to be one of those wrongful convicted perks mentioned. Better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. We should help her out. My thoughts exactly. I can't leave her like this. All I have to do is find this precious thing of hers. It shouldn't be too far away. Let's start searching for it. Psst, do whatever you want. Don't screw around too long. I'll make sure you have a nice sharp reminder in the back. Thank you. Don't even joke about that, Hawk. Prison key. <laughs> Which door do you open, little key? Maybe we can use it if we come across a locked door. Open that with the prison key. Probably have guys to fight. Nope. There's a burlap sack. <clears throat> it's a burlap sack. Let's see what the maid girl was looking for. Sweet. If we just right now, we can't... We can forget about her and get whatever she, we came for. Don't even think about it, even if it's a joke. Sai, why does Hawk always have to be like this? Prison effects acquired. Excuse me. This wouldn't be happening in years, would it? He had the girl the maid and dress for effects. Yes, this, this is my bag. I think of this sob. I was starting to think I'd never get it back. Well, I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I can't thank you enough. Eek. 
Haha, uh, what? Don't like what you see? We're not bad people on this, though I guess we're dressed to the part. No, it's not you, it's... Watch out behind you. Behind us? Oh, boy. Of course. Whoa, what do we have here? Lemurs. Oh okay. god. Where'd she go? He came out of nowhere. Cowards sneak on the puzzle. Like, Thank goodness they're gone. Are any of you hurt? He's very incredible. I've never seen anything so amazing. Hey, what's with that mask? Where did it come from? I'm glad it didn't break. Where are my manners? You helped me so much, I haven't introduced myself. My name is and still what? A pleasure to meet you. You double my mask and exercise those terrible spirits. I must find a way to repay you. Thank you. About that, it sounds like you actually will see the Lemurs. Lemurs, so that's what those wicked spirits are called. Yes, as a matter of fact, I can see them. Those horrible things have plagued me every waking moment all my life. I'm not sure why, but putting on this mask makes it so I can't see them anymore. That's the reason it's so precious to me. I can't thank you enough for returning it. Well, I doubt she's lying. She noticed them before they even got the drop on me. I guess that mask is what got you locked up here, though. I guess whenever I wear it, people call me creepy. Or say that I'm hiding something. The Roman soldiers ended up questioning me about it, and while well, I panicked, but I would have even more of a, I would have been even more wreck if I had taken the mask off. Uh -huh. Professors always tell me not to be afraid, but we should probably help her out of here. Don't think at all. I won't be able to figure myself if we just left her like this. Besides, who better to protect her from the wars than us monsters, right? Yeah, yeah. You reintroduce yourselves before asking Silhouette she'd like to return with you to the monster's hideout in Dandelion. Monsters have a hideout? I had no idea. But in the case, perhaps my luck is turning for the better for once. Please let me offer my services at the bar. That's the least I can do. Welcome aboard. <laughs> aye, aye, Skipper. I think we're up to and they have a lot to learn, but I'll give it all my all. Thanks for your bowing, too. I just enjoy the people bowing at me. It and his comrades proceed to break silhouette out of her cell. The instructor would hide until they made their return. That actually went pretty well. to ascend the ladder. That's where they meant the red mark was. It was right here. Alright. Let's be smart. Save. single soul in Balduk who doesn't know who he is. Founder and master of the Glean Hieroglyph Knights. Shadow. Ooh. Well then. I've been dying to see what you're really made of. Is this what Hop was after all along? Hawk along with the white cat, and even the crimson king, 
getting here alive, I give you. 85 points. Ooh, 85 points, that's a B. falls under the jurisdiction of Belger and the garrison. But now that you are trespassers, I am afraid I cannot allow you to leave. Oh. How will you stop us? With that sword, I guess. Hold it right there. This one's mine and mine alone. Okay. You didn't come here for him. Isn't that right, Crimson King? Then stay back. I don't plan on sharing my prey with anyone else. You don't have any objections, do ya? Unless you'd prefer we go three on one, you can just fight them after defeating me first. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Very and he loves it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Good choice. I, Shadowlock, Master of the Glean Hieroglyph Knights, accept your challenge. Well, that's pretty formal. Language. The only reason to pray is if you're still weak. Hold on. To keep me. Guess what? I ain't weak. Far from it. Someone's raging. Is that strong? <coughs> that settles it. What the? Huh? He is no longer conscious. Interesting. I will give you ninety points. Crimson King, take the hawk and retreat. demonstrated magnificent sword play that was as relentless as it was resolute. However, it was devoid of purpose. Hawk, you should use your power to fight for Glia. There may come a day yet which will depend on you. Mm. I am just a humble hieroglyph knight. I look forward to our next meeting, Crimson King. Okay. Hawk's <gasps> monstrum form went away. Wait, isn't he? A night. Credo Abram Lear. There was a name on his identification card that confirmed he is no doubt a member of the Hieroglyph Knights. <clears throat> you think Shadowlord knew the whole time? There's a monster under his nose all along? Hard to say. I can only guess what kind of secrets the Master and Commander is keeping. Anyway, judging by the ruckus he started in the main square, this one's a loose cannon. <coughs> hmm, from. I you describe him? He shares some similarities with the legendary Berserkers. Berserkers? Ancient times, there were divine warriors who raised the battlefield in a frenzied rage. He's definitely scary this time than I've ever seen him before. But... Follow this entire spirit. Yeah. You're right. There's something else I noticed. It's only for a brief moment, but he looked a bit sad somehow. 
There's more to him than meets the eye. Huh? You're right about that. <clears throat> you might be right about that. I don't think a knight like him would be very happy about us talking about him like this. Why don't you ask him the hieroglyph of the church instead? Okay. They point their parks to the knights and the church go way back. There's someone there who might be able to tell us something about him. <coughs> <coughs> okay, there's a cathedral in the central district. That's the Hargraf Church. I'll go there, Adel. Alright. I don't think I'm doing anything else. Excuse me. Because I may be of service. And Christian asked about Credo. Ah yes, Credo Abdelmanir. That was his... That was, there was an orphan by that name, though I wasn't in the orphanage myself. I can't say whether he became a knight. Aha. Uh -huh. The orphanage? Where's the orphanage? <coughs> he used to be in the outskirts of the city. He was operated by the church. They tore it down a few years ago. Yeah, so you won't find anything there now. I see. Many people who might have been there before that happened. Hmm. Father Ralph was the one who was the orphanage at the time. Where's Father Ralph? No. Since the orphanage is closed, you're excited here at the cathedral. Would you like to meet him? Oh, yes, please. I'll arrange for someone to escort you this way, please. This way, this way, please. I'll bring Father Ralph. Please wait here. Well, wait. Thank you very much. So Credo was an orphan. We'll have more in common than I thought. We have more in common than I thought. It explains a lot. You know I think so? I wonder how he was like growing up. Look at this painting, Adel. It's beautiful. My sister looks kind. She doesn't look like the same sister we met earlier. Pardon my intrusion. <coughs> I am Ralph, the father of the Hargrove of the Church. Pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. You must be Credo's. Nice to meet you. Friends and I are speaking. Yes. Uh, I'm both relieved and surprised that Credo has friends now. Speaking of how he has been recently, we've not spoken since he joined the Knights. You and Chris asked about Credo while dodging the topic of monsters. I remember like it was yesterday. You see the painting there? <coughs> yes, we were talking about it. It's very beautiful. You can tell how much the artist cared about that sister. The artist was none other than Credo. What? I was convinced it had to be... It had to have been a professional artist. The art, academics, athletics, he was considered a prodigy in many fields when he was a young boy. All it took was a few moments before he could master a skill, a gifted child indeed. That explains his strengths. He comes from natural talent, huh? However, despite being so gifted, he lacked one thing the other children all possessed. And what was that? A joy of accomplishment, a sense of growth and be betterment. Ah. Ah. Such talent can often drive someone into misery and, des and desolate solitude. Credo was deeply admired as a hero by the other children at the orphanage. Woo! There goes your donut. But when he felt, when he felt how different he was, the distance between them only grew. After falling alone, dispassionately reading books, he had no interest in. There was but one sister he confided in enough to confess his thoughts to. Then she must be the one in the painting. Yes, her name is Sister Lisa. Lisa Lisa. The scriptures say that working hard and proving is a reward in and of itself. It's also written that personal fulfillment is the meaning of life. If that's true, then does this mean that my life has no meaning? Even the wisdom of an adult couldn't answer this profound question. Instead of simply telling him what he wanted to hear, Sister Lisa listened. 
That in, in itself helped bring stability to his life. If you don't mind my asking, where's Sister Lisa now? She passed away. Oh no. There was a son of a noble family who fostered a deep contempt for Credo. The boy provoked Credo into a quarrel by making a mockery of the orphanage. Suffice to say, the boy did not emerge from the squabble uninjured. Days later, the orphanage was raided by unidentifiable bandits. Credo rushed to the scene, blade in hand, and struck one of them down. It was the first time he killed someone, but another bandit had witnessed this. In retaliation, he in turn killed the one shielding the children, Sister Lisa. We discovered the noble family were the ones who hired the bandits. I believe Master Chatlard facilitated the trial in this incident. He did. Yes, he seized the noble family's lands and assets and then banished them. Hi, Princess! It was that very incident that spurred the Hagrafen Knights into greater control. Credo then continued on his path of destruction, challenging strangers to fights. So that's what happened. But why did he join the Hagrafen Knights then? He simply had nowhere else to go. That's our position, I believe. But I'm afraid I don't know the details. What's all this about? I come back after all this time, and this is my welcome? Credo? What's this old thing doing out here? Not much. Just hanging out. You painted that, didn't you, Kratos? We were just talking about how wonderful... <laughs> Ugly earring, dude. <laughs> Kratos. What, old man? Did you think I was just going to open up about my feelings if I saw that there? It was just something I scribbled when I had nothing better to do. Huh. More importantly, you let me know if you decide to go back into the prison. The prison? Next time, I'll beat Shadowlord. And when this curse is gone, you and Aprilis are next. I respectfully decline. No. <laughs> Come on, quit holding out on me. Just one little deal. Nah. Well, that's all I came to say. Catch you all later. Are you Kratos' friends? <laughs> yeah, I think we are. God only knows what he's gotten himself into. Please don't misconstrue my words when I say this, but I am relieved that he has friends like you too. Kratos has been alone ever since Sister Lisa left. I do hope you'll continue to look after him. I hope so too. Mm, I sure learned a lot today. Yep. Sounds like Credo wasn't such a violent person until the incident at the orphanage. I wonder if that has anything to do with his feud with Shadowlark. Yes. That seems to be the case. I hope that he'll feel comfortable with talking to us about it someday. Mm, probably not. That's what friends are for, after all. Yes, Flower Girl. That's what friends are for. Several hours prior, alarm bells ring in the distance. What's going on? I don't know the details, but it sounds like monstrums have broken into the prison. They're near the Knights' headquarters. They must have found a way in from underground. The second way in. How did they get through all those monsters? Just the other day, another guard, Heinz. Yeah. I heard he lost his way underground. They still haven't <coughs> found him. But if they went through the headquarters, then their luck must have run dry. Master Shadowlard happens to be there right now. I don't think it'll come to it, but let's make sure we're ready for anything. Yeah. Well, let's go. Something seems to be happening in the prison. This could be the perfect opportunity. Can't think of. Uh, can't be stuck in a cell while adventure awaits. the wire you found in 
Okay, this was weird. Sword. Rusted sword. So this is Adol in the prison. Who's. A little baffled with what's going on, but. Someone's coming right this way. You don't have time to hide. Well, well, what do we have here? A crafty little rat who's fled his cage. Unfortunately, your little prison escape ends here. You just want yourself one way ticket to the solitary, but you can't wait, can you? I was just getting some fresh air. Oh, just taking a walk, are you? Huh. This that'll get you out of this. You know, you're pretty calm for Emmy who just got busted. Hey, I'm using. Fine, I'll let you off easy this time. Go on a stroll wherever you please. What's your duties? Ha ha ha! Prison with a sense of responsibility, now I'm staying low. Ah, thanks. I need a good laugh. Ain't no guy would have clicked his heels and made a break for it by now. Of course, I'd gladly just capture him here and increase his sentence. But you, you're not any normal inmate. I like your redhead, so tell you what, I really will let you off for now. We'll chat again next time we meet. I trust you'll be just as amusing then. Okay. Since the guard moving farther and farther away, he doesn't intend to let you go. His words to leave you unsettled, but you must hurry ahead. All the city escape swirls below. As you're holding you in some sort of prison tower, the glow of light brightens the night sky. Is there a festival of some kind going on? It is a pleasant surprise to see you here. A preposterous surprise, to be sure. I am aware of your encounter with the Monstrums earlier. So what has you hurrying back to the prison so soon? Master Chatelard of the Hieroglyph Knights. Despite how it may appear, I do have business here, interrogator, or should I say, the paranormal investigator of the Roman Empire. Don't call me that, Chatelard. But if you are aware of my title, then you should be aware of the consequences of questioning my actions. Oh. That was not my intention. I was merely curious as to the reason why you acted without Belder's approval. I do not require his nor your permission to do anything. But you will tell me this. Where is Adol Kristen? So that is what you are after. It makes sense now. Unfortunately, reports remain that he is still missing after his escape. My negligence is partly to blame for this oversight. Huh? Please, accept my apologies. I see. Very well. That's quite enough for today. 
Should you come across any leads regarding his whereabouts, notify me at once. Despite my reluctance, it is my duty to see this mission through. You have my word. Some of this is so odd. Adel is out, but Adel is in. It's no time for the rounds. Return to Solo. Find your way back by retracing your steps. Guess we're still gonna try to get out of here. What do we want? Huh? Hey, we finished chapter three. Yay! So what we learn about in chapter four. Ah, twilight shards. We got a bunch of them. Yay! How's the door open like that? Artists in Lane. If Mary serves, it is the northwestern part of town. Yes, there are a plethora of wonderful shops, each with its own rich history and culture. For daily necessities, a specialty craft and anti antiques. What kind of shopping have we done there? Uh, did something happen there? Well, I've only just lived by word of mouth, but they're a chain of serial burglaries. That's not all. The culprits are said to be none other than monsters. What? I don't want to point fingers, but it wasn't me. I don't think any of us would do something to draw that much attention. I, um, I mean, it really wasn't me. I'm only here for the free drink that I was promised. I like coward to sneak around like that. If it were me, I'd do it in broad daylight. Some of the artisan lane shops have already fallen victim to these thefts. Most recently was the Ringel Antique Shop it was broken into just last night. Mr. Miss Ringel? You know them, Christian? Yes, sir, the kind elderly couple who run that lovely antique shop. The Pendulum Company has been doing business with them for many years now. Still from a mom and pop shop. And that's the lowest of the low. Maybe a grandma and grandpop shop. But... You've all become icons of sorts recently. It's bound to be those who seek your public image for their own gain. You know, I don't care what people think of us. This kind of stuff happens all the time. Anyway, that's not my problem. Talk to me if you need some actual fighting done. Hey! At least he heard us out. He'll come around. Okay, I just want to... Tuck into bed and shoo all the worries away. Okay. Isn't that right, right, my adorable Krishna? Um, okay. Huh? You're asking the wrong person. Regardless, I would advise we settle this incident before it worsens. When you have a moment, could you go to Arsenal Lane and investigate Adel? Yep. Um, Adel, what is it? I'm just a little concerned about the Ringels. We'll be alright if I came with you. Yes, you can come with me. I appreciate the extra hands. Yeah. Really? I can help you dispel the barrier too. I know we can do it. Huh? Well, that settles that. Wouldn't it be nice if all the monsters were just willing to work together? Ah, yes. I have no doubt that you two will succeed. Agreed. Though it's still, there's still much to do. Oh, we're going to search for the doll now. Okay. Chapter 4. New quest available on the bulletin board. Hey, Adel, are you free right now? Someone new's joined the crew and they want to have a word with you. Why don't you say hi before heading out? Just leave it to me. Just leave it to me. 
Time to show off my skills. Let me come back anytime. Er, welcome. I know perfect timing. There's someone I want you to meet. This is my employer, the man I owe my life to, Professor Valen. Indeed, I'm an anthropologist. A pleasure, I should think. Silhouette here tells me she wishes to work here to aid the monsters. But I do not see monsters anywhere. I hope to shadow them this week and observe them for my research. Perhaps I can extract a flesh sample. Hmm. That may be a tad excessive, um, Professor. If I could just get my hands on the secrets of the monsters, then I could devise a way to become a monster myself. With that power, I could observe the realm of evil spirits in my eyes. Ha ah, ha, with a thrilling notion. Professor, I'm sorry I didn't mean to cause more trouble for you all. I later thought Professor Valen could be helpful to you. But seeing how he is now for your sake, we better not tell him about the monsters. There's one more thing I wanted to tell you. I spoke to Shante about this too. I'm going to be the Dandelion's official errand runner that includes. Any supplies the bar needs too. If you ever think of anything you need, I'll take care of you. Take care of it for you. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about me. Oh, I'll be fine. I used to walk around the city all the time. I've been called freaks so many times, I've pretty much lost sense of shame. Players said it caused research risky if you move to the Republic for too long. Excuse me, I'll only go to the shops where I need to go, or I'll come straight back. I'll do my best to keep out of sight. Just let me know what you need and I'll get it. It'll be helpful if you tell me about the new shops you find. Okay. Ah. She's an errand girl. Did you see my message? I say forgive me for taking your time. I understand how busy you must be. I learned of a certain prisoner who was falsely convicted. I was going to request this of Doggy and the others, but it's quite a momentous task. I realized it would take the monster of your powers for this to be successful. Did you consider my proposal? Only if you're able to, of course. Yes. Thank you, I don't truly. The information I have is accurate. This individual is not your average citizen. To start, she's merely a young girl. A girl in prison while she arrested. I couldn't believe it myself, it's just unjust to say the least. Memoration places her in some of the top floor of the central wing. It's not gonna be easy getting there. I agree, it won't be easy at all. Central wing is one of the secure sectors due to the warden's office being there. 
this to prepare. That'd be useful, but the comprehensive layout of the prison is a well kept secret. And the guards are kept in ignorance of sectors outside their own. You'll need to put they have patrol out to the guards to get in without being spotted. I just remember there's a black market dealer who operates in Central District. I hear he possesses very rare items that you can acquire through normal means. There's a sliver of a chance that he might have information about the prison's layout. If he doesn't, he might have clues as to where you can find such information. Brilliant, that girl has connections that are indispensable at times like these. This is a difficult yet crucial task, you know. Exactly. Something straight ahead of me. Level up! Alright, something down here. Did it. 
How did it come to this? <coughs> oh, could it be? We come forth to defend our fair cities, great passion and rest and repose. Something like that, you know, see the good doing right. And something about a perverse individual of the past. That's exactly right. I've been coming to these bass ever since the very day they were built, you see. Where else can one sweat off a day's work? Chatting up strangers in the glorious buff. Such a sanctuary as this must be protected from those who would just debase it at any cost. Can I count you still mean great? Yes. Right, it must be pretty major if those are upset. Who exactly is a perverse individual anyway? Why well, none other than a peeping Tom, of course, and Lichurus Jenna has been leering at the poor defenseless maidens in their bath. Consequently, the number of women willing to visit has started to plummet. That's terrible. People should feel comfortable relaxing there. That's exactly what I'm saying. A situation like this is grave beyond grave. The staff's having trouble addressing the matter. I plan to pitch, I plan to pitch in myself, but I figure most of these old bones could do is find someone younger than instead. Yes, yeah, so I'm glad you asked. I'd like you to conduct the little investigation shorts. Right hand building houses the bath, separated between male and female. Every window is made from frosted glass to from climbing such as this, but that doesn't mean there can't be a hole or opening somewhere. The task is find that opening. It's clean hours now, so you need fear inadvertently sneaking in any vulgar glances. Okay, got it. Let's do is look for any spots a peeping Tom might use. Ha, ah, new ones would be up to the task. I'll be counting on you. Well, that seems kind of loose. Sounds one of the ones out for you. Small people. You can see everything through here. I think that's really clear right now, but anyway, we found it. You can't see a spot in the corner at all. It's a perfect place to sneak a peek. Hold on. Not you mention it doesn't look like it formed out of wear and tear rather than on purpose. If that's the case, then what? Okay, it's time to swap shifts already. Yeah, I'll take it from there. By the way, you hear the new orders from the warden yet? About the new patrol route? Yeah, could it. Could you run it by me again? Let's scare me. The spot is right behind the garrison post. It's a blind spot, sure, but it's still close enough to hear the soldiers. I know someone would try to peek in from here all these places. You know, let's get out of here before someone catches us.
right, so there are ones in here. <laughs> we did it. Okay, I'm You have to use the bath. Last an hour, Noah. I was just trying to finish this. Trying to finish this mission. Doesn't make any sense. I found it.
just doesn't make any sense. Well, they tell me to sit there and check windows over there. I checked them all, and there's they're still showing on the map as not being checked. I'm not sure why I can't finish this quest, because... Go here. Yeah, I've gone pretty far past an hour. Closer to where I need to be. Alright. We're facing the guy we need to talk to next. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream here. I thank everyone for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Oh,